But what's the do-over game that you would pick? If you could pick any in Cowboys history here on your home of the Cowboys, 105 through the fan as we get closer and closer to training camp, and no station has you covered more than right here on 105 through the fan. I know the Des Cottett game probably is the one that I've seen already texted in the most. Is that the one that comes first to mind when, yep. when you think of a topic like this is Green Bay? I, th- I think it should, but for me, actually, it was the the 06 wild card, the Romo slippage and fumble against the Seahawks. That I'm, one right there burns in my soul. I'm actually glad that you said that, because for me, I agree. Now, I, I'm with the fan text. Like, it was a catch, 100%. But in reality... If we take a step back, the Cowboys win that game. They go to Seattle. I think they win. But how confident are we that they beat New England in the Super Bowl? I don't know. Well, how confident are we that they even get out of Lambeau alive yeah, with they, Aaron Rodgers and like cool. however much, like two minutes left on the clock or whatever? Yep. I think they would have. Okay. I think they would have. But then again, you also had like a really banged up Romo. I, lo- I do love just the, the the sheer confidence out of Walchuk, who's only seen Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Screw Aaron Rodgers. I know you don't like him. He was on right. a bad calf that game, and that Cowboys that defense had come up with some big stops yeah, that year. Yeah, he's not that good. He's not. He's, he's rubbish. Uh, but the Romo 06 team, okay, with Bill Parcells, they actually had a good coach, won. But that was a very winnable NFC, and... They would have played a Colts team in the Super Bowl in 06 that they'd already beaten in the regular season. If they get past Seattle, they go to Chicago, a team that I think Seattle took to overtime that next week. Oh, is that the Grossman With Rex Bears? Grossman. Ugh. Like, you're feeling pretty good about beating that team. By 100. Yeah. Then you, your toughest game would have been New Orleans. And there's a question mark there if you'd have been able to beat the Saints. That was the first year with Breeze and Peyton. Yeah, they were nasty. So that would have been the toughest game. But if they're able to get past that, I actually feel much better about the Cowboys being able to beat the Colts in the Super Bowl that year than I would have about the Cowboys being able to beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Football's a lot like life. In 2014, the Des Cotta year. So I kind of agree. I think the Cowboys in 06, if they're able to make the run to the Super Bowl in both of those years, would have had a better chance to win it all the 2006 season. Can I give you another one that I don't people I don't think people think about enough? But whenever it was like for for me immediately when I thought about this, it was the the Romo fumbled snap versus the Seahawks. Then of course it's the Des caught it. But what about the 2008 divisional playoffs at home versus Eli and the Giants? Oh, I oh, believe yeah. that was the Patrick Creighton game. It was. I believe that's when R. W. McCorders intercepts Romo in it the was. end zone oh, to basically God. seal the win. And it's like the fact that it was the Giants. The Cowboys were so good that year. They were 13-3. and three. They were dominant at home, 6-2 and two on the year. And then in that game, they're, of course, at home as well. They had every opportunity to win that game. And what would that game have done? That would have propelled them where? To a place we haven't been in a quarter century. They would have played the Packers at home in the NFC Championship game, and they'd already destroyed Green Bay earlier that year. But at the very least, they find themselves in the NFC title game, which is something that many Cowboys fans, including myself, basically never seen. Yeah, and no question. And I was at that game in 2007 at Texas Stadium, and you could have heard a pin drop when that RW McCorders interception happened. Another layer of that game, it was the first Marion Barber start, and he looked really good. The Cowboys, right before half, went on a 20-play, 10-minute drive. Like, you can't script this thing any better. They just beat down that vaunted Giants defense. And then the Giants get the ball back with like 47 seconds left. And they just pick on Jacques Reeves and Roy Williams. And it's just the Amani Toomer drive down the field and they score to go into half. I mean, it, it, it was just the most frustrating game to witness. We are getting several other good texts in. The 94 NFC Championship game against the Niners, Cowboys could have won four in a row. That's pretty damn special. My, uh, oh, yeah, that would have been super special. I totally understand that. When you when you want to get a little bit more old school with it, there's plenty of those. Plenty of those. Uh, my boy Philly Cheese just, just texted me, skipped 
the the autoflex leasing fan text line he went right to the vip section and he he hit me what's on the name? cell how much do you charge for that yeah yeah last name cheese first name philly i don't understand what's the problem no I, is he from philly no he's not um but I think he has descendants from there. The All cheese right. family. There's a long lineage of, of of cheeses here, actually, in the Metroplex. They're a great family. Great family. I love cheese. Uh, but he's he said that Dak's first playoff game, the the other Rodgers. Uh, the 2016 yeah, like to, game. That, that Cowboys team was so dominant, and you were right there. There was you that were terrible 13. Bryce Butler, too many men in the huddle yeah, penalty. Awful, that phantom awful. call. God. And it's like, what happens after that? Because that was rookie year Dak. That was dominant rookie year Zeke. That was the the great wall of well, Cowboys. Was it third and line. third and what? Rogers to Cook. Oh God, I don't want to even remember. I think yeah. well, there was holding yeah. on the play. Yeah, but whatever. Kill me. Uh, I know everybody talks playoffs, but for some reason this this regular season game stuck out to me. It was that a uh, 2019 trip to Chicago? You know where where Trubisky threw for yeah like. 250 yards, but he had three touchdowns, and that prompted this. Are you embarrassed? Hey, get your damn act together yourself. <laughs> I love how, I mean, he's leaking confidence as he starts that question. Yeah. Corey Majors, he's like sort of trembling just are, asking the question. Are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? Yeah. I'm, God, don't hurt me, Jerry. Get your damn act together. <laughs> I was in a low place right there, though. Seriously. I, that, was, that was their third straight loss. They lost in New England. They came home, lost to Buffalo. And then they went to Chicago and lost mm -hmm. 31 to 24 to drop to six and seven on the year. It was painful. Oh, uh, the Jackie Smith touchdown. Oh, you know drop. what? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a big one. Yeah. Jackie's is a big one. But back to that Bears game, mm -hmm. I think that was a record setting performance in terms of missed tackles for the Cowboys defense. Oh, it's like, was. no joke. I think no, that no, was it really like was. That was a talking point for us. Single game missed tackles. That was disgusting. Record. Like they were, they were historically awful in that game when yeah. it comes to tackling. I don't like your attitude, dude. Come in. I